decade of effort to send uh, attempts to shed light on the uh, structural uh, discrimination that has long been in place uh, regarding Afro descendants in many parts of the world. And the General Assembly recognized this when pass, uh, passing a resolution last year to inaugurate this decade where uh, through a series of regional uh, conferences and beginning with this one here in Brasilia uh, this year, uh, we will uh, properly analyze the extent of the suffering, the challenges faced by Afro descendants uh, in these uh, regions uh, with a view of trying to change the dynamic uh, such that uh, the deep discrimination, the levels of poverty, the levels of denial of, of basic human rights uh, when it comes to education, health care, uh, when it comes to uh, access to the very instruments of government, uh, the democratic institutions, this can all be at least reversed uh, for, us, for the, the, the future gen generations of Afro-descendants. Um, uh, there is a broad appreciation that uh, they suffer disproportionately at the hands of uh, excessive police tactics uh, in the criminal justice systems, um, uh, in the, uh, access to, to the very basic services that are needed for life and that are very much part of the human rights uh, uh, framework and uh, so we are, as OHCHR are proud to be doing this work uh, to, together with many partners uh, uh, most especially of course after the governments the uh, civil society actors and those associations representing uh, Afro-descendants. Well it's, cl it's clear from the uh, sustainable uh, development goals that the theme, the overarching theme is not leaving anyone behind and in many societies it is the Afro-descendants that are those traditionally who have been left behind together with indigenous communities and others and of course we oh, and don't uh, uh, forget uh, women and children of uh, Afro-descent most especially but you have also those with disabilities and so those who suffer from a no number of different pressures um, and uh, we hope that the SDG framework will uh, enable a new thinking uh, such that development must be uh, undertaken from a rights-driven uh, approach. And so certainly uh, we see these as uh, overlapping. One shouldn't also d forget that the SDGs, unlike the MDGs, is universal in its outlook. So it looks at all countries. Uh, and here this is fundamentally important because it's not just Afro-descendants in, de in the developing uh, world, but also in the OECD countries and elsewhere. And I think this is a fundament fundamental point we have to make.